Hey, what's up, guys? Well, it's been a couple of weeks since I posted. Uh, it's been working. Just been so hot. Just been working and not posting and editing videos, but trying to get back on the video editing. So today I'm back working on the Impala. I want to hook up my AccuAir E-Connect controller. See, I got my new pumps installed. The three gallon tanks on both sides. I got my airline going from these auxiliary tanks to the main tank. I still gotta rerun these hoses. But I hadn't decided if I wanna keep these hoses or go to steel braided. So for now, just leave those like they are. I got my control, my box right there for my wiring with my relays for my pumps. Now it's time to wire this up, but the first thing I gotta do is wire up my, my pump. So gotta connect the wire. I'm gonna try to hide as many wires as I can. So I'm gonna try to run them under the uh, carpet. But y'all stay tuned, I'm about to get to work. All right, guys, so the first thing I got to do is make my wire a little longer. So instead of using butt connectors, I think I'm going to solder everything, just make it look a little better. Got the wire soldered and I'm gonna slide the heat shrink in place. So I got my wire ran to the front of the trunk under the carpet. You can see it coming out right here. It's the end of it. I put my end on it and crimp it. It's gonna run right through here to the relay. Alright, so I got that one hooked up. It's right here. I'm gonna start working on this side. Yeah, so I got all my existing wires re-ran and sorted a little needle. I'm gonna leave these loose for now because where those gonna tie in, some wires gonna come off the controller and tie in at the same spot. So now I'm about to get ready to wire the control up. Got a ground wire, uh, some remote wire, main hot, some wires going to the compressor relay. Not sure, I think I'm gonna just stay with my old wire for my compressor. So what I got, I'm coming off here, the hot going to my pressure switch, coming off the pressure switch going to my relay here. I think I'm gonna just keep that for now. I won't be using the yellow wire and I think the orange wire for now. All right, so I ended up running the orange wire, just the remote wire and the red wire, which is the main hot wire. And now I'm about to hook up my ground wire. The other wires I won't use. One is for a light wire. Basically when you cut your lights on, it'll dim the controller. The other one is for some special feature, you have to hook it to your brakes. I don't know what that's for, so I won't be using that. And the other wire is the wire that's going to the relay for the pumps. So now I'm going to use the, the old uh, pressure switch and 
keep that like it was. So for now, I won't be using that wire. All right, so now that I got the main ground and the main hot hooked up. I'm trying to switch on, see if I can get it to light up. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is run my wire to the front of the car for my controller. This the controller. So this wire right here hooks into the controller and it runs on the carpet to wherever. You wanna have your touch pad. Then it just plugs into your touch pad. So I think I'm gonna just let my touch pad be in the center console. All right, so I got the wire ran on the carpet. And the carpet here into here. Just clear it up, get it out of my way for now. Just let that sit for now. All right, so I got, I got all my wires hooked up to my switches. I'm leading up everything. I just got them hanging for now. Put some tie scraps on them later. Now I gotta hook up my pressure switches. My pressure switch harness right here. Hook up all my pressure switches here. Put all these up. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna adjust my slow down valves just to keep it under control. Keep the from coming out so fast. Here so hard, so I think I'm gonna screw them halfway. See how that works out. Screw these in. Look, this thing ain't showing the pressure in the bag. It's three pounds on the front, one psi on the back. You know that ain't right. So how can it set the level? The pressure is, is off. All right guys, so I finally got it to connect. I'm showing the pressure, because sometimes that be right, sometimes that be wrong. I'm a third time trying to go through the programming feature. Are sitting there moving and programming, trying to learn itself. Really not impressed with this system. I bought it because I wanted something that's reliable, that I wouldn't have to always adjust going down the road if I got a leaking bag or something, but I don't think this it. I'm glad I left my old system on there with my old switches. And my old switches right there. That's the controller sitting up there for the new system. The only thing my old system don't have is the pressure sensor, so I think I'm just hook those back up. Because with that auto leveling feature on this new setup, I was sitting there sitting in the car, I had it set on the auto level. The car just went to the ground. And we lost Bluetooth connection. That ain't good. I really don't want it to do that when I'm driving it, so I don't know. I, I, I'm not impressed. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Like, share, subscribe.